Hello everybody. I'd like to talk to you about using the thin lens equation. I'm having some people having trouble with this. So let's take a minute and talk about how the thin lens equation works. So if I have a problem where I have a focal length of 20 centimeters and an object distance of 10 centimeters and it wants me to find the image distance, I know I'm going to be using the thin lens equation. And the first step I usually do is draw a picture. Uh, so I sort of just put the optical axis here, and then I say, all right, I've got a lens. There's my lens. And I know that 20 centimeters, it's positive, so I know it's on this side. I have a focal length, and at 10 centimeters, I have an object distance, and I want to find an image distance of, let's say, it's going to be over here somewhere. I don't know where it is. So the thin lens equation says that 1 over f equals 1 over i plus 1 over o. And what i got to solve for here is where the image is. So I can do this a variety of ways. Uh, and the easiest way probably is to plug these numbers in right now. So I'd say, well, 1 over... 20 centimeters equals 1 over i plus 1 over 10 centimeters. And then I would subtract this over. So now I get 1 over 20 minus 1 over 10 equals 1 over i. And that would be 1 over 20 minus 1 over 10 would be 1 over 20 minus 2 over 20. So it would be negative 1 over 20 centimeters. It tells me that 1 over i equals negative 1 over 20 centimeters, or i equals negative 20 centimeters. So in this case, what I have is a virtual image the image is actually on this side. Uh, and it is virtual, and it's virtual because it's negative. So we talked about the sign conventions. And just as a quick reminder, a uh, if I've got focal length, object distance, and image distance, plus is converging, minus is diverging, uh, this should pretty much always be positive, and that means it's a real object. And this could be positive or negative. If it's positive, it's a real image. And if it's negative, it's a virtual image. Which means past the lens or same side as the object. Uh, and that's a general way that we deal with this. So we could do another one. Uh, and you can solve for any one of these as long as only one of them is missing. So I could say, all right, I have a lens where I know I place an object at 12 centimeters. And I get a real image at 36 centimeters what's the focal length. And again, I could use my equation. So I'd say 1 over f in this case equals 1 over i plus 1 over o, which would be 1 over 12 centimeters plus over 36 centimeters. I have to get a common denominator. So that's 3 over 36 plus 1 over 36 4 over 36 centimeters. So F equals 36 over 4 or 9 centimeters. So I hope that helps you guys with those kinds of problems. Thanks.